Sing King Media in association with Box Raw. Steve, I don't even want to call you Disney because there was nothing Disney about that performance because that was brutal. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see. We kind of, Bambi got, Bambi's mother got shot in front of her. Disney, Disney is brutal. No, but yeah, it was. Uh, listen, I, you know, five weeks ago, I got a call to say I'm fighting Nick Campbell. And I got to ask, do you want it? Straight away, I said yes. There was never, ever, ever a doubt in my mind that that wasn't going to happen. We got sparring in, and the last five weeks, I knew it, unless he had worked harder than me, or, you know, I was getting that victory. I was getting underdog, this, that, t'other. He's shit, he's a gimmick. I've, listen, I don't have to prove myself to anybody. You know, but hopefully that has, has, has proven to a few people that I'm not a piss take and that I'm in there for the for the long run. Well, talking about the first three rounds, I'll, I'll be honest, you didn't probably win any of the first three rounds. Like he won them quite comfortably, and it looked yeah. like he was hurting you a few times, especially on the inside. And you you didn't get really hurt. To be fair, you kind of survived it, grinded your way through it, and then boom, ran for you, turned the fight on its head. So just tell me, them first three rounds, what was going through your mind? Because you took a couple of right uppercuts and. It looked like he was it, but but you kind of just ran you through it. We're 58 fights in with pros and amateur fights in hundreds of thousands of rounds of sparring. Touch wood, I've never ever been hurt. I've never been put down. Now, I'll never rely on my chin, ever. I believe that based on what I saw today. I'll never rely on my chin. I've always been, I lost six amateur fights and all on points because I start slow. I've always been a slow starter. Come back in the corner in the second round, you know, and my coach, Mark and Giuseppe went, what are you doing? You need to pick it up. Third round, I started to come into my own. I was hurting him. I caught him with a body shot, caught him with an overhand right. Then in the fourth round, you know, we're seeing, I would have carried on that pace and that tempo for the next four rounds. That's when I come into my own, three, four, you know, and I know the power's still going to be there in eight. That. I saw you, you kept winding up that left hook because you weren't really landing in the first two, three, but you kept winding it up. Was that part of your game plan to kind of walk him onto that? He's, he was moving to the right. So he was, I think, I think he's been learning or he's been taught to keep an eye on the right hand. And every time I was high on the right hand, I was just falling a little bit short or the overhand right wasn't because he was moving to the right. So I was slipping so I thought, Okay, next time he moves to the right, I'm just going to hurry that check left hook in, see if he likes it. Done that, um, and I think in the third it was, I caught him um, with, that, with that check left hook, and he didn't, he didn't like it, and I thought, okay, next time he moves to the right, we'll just glance that left hook in, hurry a bit more stiffness in it, hurry a bit more power in it, and we've done that, and in the fourth we're seeing what, seeing what happened. And what a knockout it was. Obviously, you dropped in a couple of times. And to be fair, I agree with the stoppage. Some people are complaining about it. But the referees, because before the stoppage, he had two really heavy knockdowns. And he could have got stopped on either one of them, to be fair. Fair play to Nick for getting up, by the way. Um, just shows that he is a warrior um, to get up from them. You, he wasn't high in punches. His legs were gone. His eyes were gone. And, you know, the referee's got a duty of care. We've just seen what happened with Chisora and Tyson Fury. That might have went on four or five rounds too many. Um, and the referee done great to jump in there as well. And oh, people are saying, ah, but he only had three seconds left. OK, so would he have recovered in a minute, three seconds, if I caught him with another massive shot? He could be in the back of an ambulance now, you know. So fair play to the referee. I, I, I don't care what people say or what the doubters say or what... People are going to write on. Oh, I shouldn't have been stopped. That, 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 that's up to them. That's down to them. To everybody's, you know, everybody's got the right to think what they want to think. Definitely, Steve. And just last thing, your next. Obviously, you've just come out of the ring. Are you already thinking? Because I was looking through the rankings and looking at names that are probably between, you know, just on the English title level or around English to British. Uh, or looking at Nick Webb, potentially Cash Halley, who's had a lot more fights than you. You think how far do you think you are from them sort of names? Uh, I love Cash, by the way. Uh, I've, I think Nick Webb's retired now, um, but you've got a 6-0, and Frank Ignatius, he's the only person to beat Shane Gill, who, who beat me, so Shane Gill isn't boxing anymore, so let's, let's look at getting Frank Ignatius, 
um, and, and redeem myself from that. From that, well, I've already redeemed myself, but you know, let's let's get that Frank Ignatius fight and, and get that get that sorted and get take his take his zero. Like I've just took Nick's. Brilliant. And last thing, promise, last thing. Were you thinking about anything random? Because me and you caught the taxi together to the way. We had the most random conversation. Did that come into your mind at any time during that fight? It, it was more turkeys uh, with it being close to Christmas. So I was, I was thinking more about what I'm going to do with me, mom's turkey, when I get home to celebrate. <laughs> I'm not going to let you repeat that. Steve, enjoy the victory and have a good Christmas and Happy New Year, mate. All the best to everyone who's watching and thank you for supporting. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and stay safe. Top man.